From the Anglo-Celtic brewing tradition, we move on to something more diverse and eccentric, the ales of Belgium. If you haven't heard of it, you're not alone. Belgium produces more styles of beer than any other country in the world. And yet, very few people this side of the Atlantic have ever tasted Belgian beer. One reason is that many are simply not available to us. Another is that their stronger specialty brews and regional favorites tend to be quirky or overpowering. But perhaps the best explanation is that, unlike the English bitter or the Irish stout, Belgian beer cannot be narrowed down to a single distinct family. There's simply so many choices, it's hard to know where to begin. Belgian beers are the, the most esoteric of all beers and in many ways defy description. But that also is their attraction. Uh, the fact of the matter is that it's not all that complicated. And uh, if, if the uh, drinker considers that most Belgian ales are top fermented, most Belgian beers, I should say, are top fermented, uh, and vary as to the, the nature of the yeast that is used and uh, the geographical uh, regions within Belgium, uh, it's not so awfully difficult to, to classify them. I think th more important really even than classification is just the enjoyment of Belgian beers, which are wonderful beers by standards of, of beers in any other part of the world. Beers like the Orval that we have in front of us here is, is certainly among the most complex of all beers. In Belgium, it's not unusual to find a style of beer that has been in continuous production since the Middle Ages. With that kind of tradition, there's a number of classics out there, if you know where to look. Give one a try. You could be starting a whole new tradition for yourself. <laughs>